You're asking me and I can decline. I'm not doing anything wrong. Leave me alone. Look at how many cops you got for a guy with a sign. I mean, seriously. Funded it's by taxpayer. Not. It's not. You're wrong. It's not. You're wrong. You're wrong. What's up, CT3 fam? Welcome back to my channel where we highlight three clips and I'll recap with a few educational pointers to assure you're prepared for your next encounter with the cop. My name is CT3 and my goal is to make this educational experience based on your basic rights along with feminine public. With that said, the channels being featured today are Long Island Audit, Mr. Porter, and 805 Cop Watch. Make sure you use the links in the description for the full video and while you're over there, please show them some love because without them, there's no CT3. If you can go ahead and gently smash that like button before the video even starts so this video will spread and hopefully help put an end to police misconduct. Let's get right into it. I didn't call for service. Okay, can you stand over there for me, please? No, leave me alone. I just need you to stand over there for me, sir. I need you to leave me alone. No, you're interfering. I'm not interfering or obstructing with anything. Tell me what to do, dude. I don't need your directive. I didn't tell you, do I ask you to please stand over there? You're asking me and I can decline. I'm not doing anything wrong. Leave me alone. Please stay over here then, okay? Don't interfere. Don't tell me what to do, dude. Get out of here. Have a nice day. It's nighttime, bro. You got nervous. Hey, This clip is actually hilarious to me. This officer specifically responded to the scene to deal with, quote unquote, someone interfering with the scene with a cell phone camera filming. 805 Cop Watch shut him down immediately. He knew his rights, he knew he was at a fair distance, he was a risk to no one, and the officer had to accept it and tell him, okay, just stay here. <laughs> so what was the point even coming up to him, officer? You wouldn't want to hold your breath for that answer. Keep in mind, filming about 10 feet from the stop is a respectful distance for both parties. Okay. The gentleman who talked to you the first time, who said there's a 50 foot easement, he did some research for you. Yeah. He said once the shopping center went in, the best thing out is 60 foot easement, okay? So I got 10 feet over Which more than I thought. Which so means it's beneficial so you don't get hit by a right. car. Right. You do realize that at, I've argued a trespassing case in front of Terry Myers, and at no point in time could you possibly consider a guy walking down the side of the road or holding a sign who said trespassing. Dude, if you guys arrested me, I was already waiting to sue you we, for violating my we First were, Amendment civil rights. It was all lined up, buddy. Were, were you arrested? No! We we Hell no, we buddy! Look at how many cops you got for a guy with a sign! I mean, seriously! That's why my taxes keep going up! Your right to protest is in the language of the First Amendment, which prohibits government interference with this right to assemble peacefully. However, it's important to point out some states have enacted or are considering laws that change these standards and can subject protesters to arrest even if they're not violent or doing damage to property. So pretty much some states are trying to infringe on your First Amendment, so make sure you do your research and exercise your rights before you lose them. Hey, how are you today? Good, how are you? Uh, you working here or something or? Mm, well, oh, yeah, te technically, yeah. Okay. Am, but <laughs> can I help you with anything? No, I don't need any help with anything right now. Okay. Can I get your name and badge number though? Sure, Kuhn, K U H N Shield One Seven. Can I ask you what you're doing? One seven. I'm just taking video and picture. How you doing, uh, sir? Of what? Hey, so what? We got a, a parking lot. Myself and uh, Officer Kuhn. How you doing? You're not, get, to be, you're not can, allowed to be in this area. Can Can I get your name and badge number? Uh, you can you can read it right there, but you're not allowed to be you're not allowed to be in this area. You have any business here? I do have business here. Yeah. What's your business? I don't have to tell you that. What's your business? I don't have to tell. You. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's your business? Just relax, man. It's not a bit. It's not that. It's not that big of a deal. No, it is a big deal because you're not allowed to be in this area. This is for authorized personnel only. That's so not. We'd like to go in the in the lot. That's not true. There's there, there 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 is there is no uh, there's no sign saying authorized personnel only. So. No, you, well, I'm telling you that. So you can go into the no, parking you, you lot. No, you can't just. This is this is a this is a public this is a public parking lot. So no, what not. happens is Geyer. Geyer, no, is not. that how I say that? It's this not. is this is a public parking it's lot. Not. Yeah, because it's funded it's by not. taxpayer. It's not. Y you're wrong. It's not. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Listen, buddy, we can go take a walk over here and you can go stand over there. We can have this conversation. You can, you no can problem. take a walk over there if you'd like. There is no signs deeming this a restricted area. I'm telling you. Yeah, you can't do that. I'm just, telling you. Can't, you can't just deem an area restricted okay, that's open okay, to so the then, public. So then maybe you're having a hard time listening. 
okay? That's what the issue could be here. No. I'm just trying to tell you, bro. I don't think we'll that's take it. take a walk over here. Yeah. That's it. You're not allowed to be over here. Yeah, no, I understand. But what I'm telling you is you can't just make an area restricted. Yeah, I mean, it has to be restricted already. This is not a restricted area here. No, you're, you're sadly mistaken, pal. Okay. You're sadly mistaken. Okay, why don't okay. we get a supervisor out here? Uh, why don't we walk over here where you're allowed to be I'm, I'm, I'm we gonna... can have an issue? Oh, what's the issue? Is that a threat? No, th th that I'm telling you right now, you're not allowed to be in this area, bro. I, I understand what you're saying, and I'm asking no, for a supervisor. You're not I'm understanding. I'm asking for a supervisor. You're not understanding. Does your policy not That's state? That's what I'm saying. Does I think you're having a hard time. Does your policy state? You have, you have like you have you have issues or something like. No, hearing? I think I think you have. You issues have hearing? I think you have. I think you have you're some anger issues, buddy. You're not allowed to be in this area, dude. This That's guy what came over here. Come over here and walk over here. There's a, there's a complete difference. See, this is the contrast in America of. You got cops oh, like yeah, you, yeah, yeah. and then you got so, cops so, like so, you. Sir, cops sir, who want to escalate to, and cops who want to de-escalate. We're trying to, we're trying There's a difference. Okay. Nice that That's how good cops get hurt, okay. because people like sir. you, okay. when they go in all gun-ho. Okay. Let me can finish I, what I'm no, saying. I was just finished what I'm saying. Can I have your ID, please, so we know who we're talking to? No, you're not going to get my ID. I haven't committed a crime, unless I've committed a crime. You are, you're just like Oscar said. So you see this, this area, why do you think the public's not here? Why do you think the way walks Because they're choosing not to be here? No, it's not because they're not choosing. This is not a restriction. This is not a It's authorized, authorized. I don't need to go look at it. I read it already. Authorized vehicles only. No, 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 no. Authorized vehicles. I am not in a vehicle, as you can see. Watch out, your shoes are untied. I don't want you to slip and fall on. You. Okay, I'm fine. This is not. I'm not in a vehicle. Okay. So here's the problem. Authorized so here, vehicles. So here's the problem. You're not. You're telling me you're not going to tell me your business, right? That's what you're telling me. I'm. I'm telling you right Hold now on, that I'm a journalist. Me. I'm going to tell you. I'm a okay. journalist working on a story, and that's as, that's okay. as much I'm going to say. But you're I'm engaging. Tell me. I'm engaging so, in a constitutionally but protected you're activity. You're telling me who you are, correct? Because I got I, a stranger. Because I don't Hold have on. to. Hold on. Because right now you're a complete stranger. I got a stranger over my work area, walk around video. Yeah. I have no idea what your intentions are, correct? Yeah. Correct? Yeah. I have no idea. Because you know what's not normal? There's a guy. Where's your credential? If you're a journalist, that's fine. Where's your credential, sir? You don't you don't need you don't need you don't need credentials. And I don't need to provide you with anything unless you have reasonable unless you have reasonable articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime. I'm about to commit a crime. Reasonable, articulable. If you're wondering, do you need a press pass? The answer is no. You'll only need a press pass if you're invited to a special function or a private event. And if so, the people inviting you will issue your press pass. Remember, a press pass grants some type of special privilege to journalists. Well, luckily, the First Amendment grants us the privilege and right as private citizens to go out in public and film whenever we want. Did you learn that in training? Or no. Okay. No, we, we so reasonable, don't art, you don't use that over here? We don't use that phrase. I mean, every every place, reasonable, articulable suspicion. I never heard those two words used together. Wow, that's kind of scary. No. That's kind of scary. I, I'm just saying. It's it, it's very important to your job because you can't do anything without that, without reasonable, well, articulable I, I, I suspicion. Now, done anything. No, well, who guys, said you touched me? I didn't say you touched me. You know, touch me. Well, I have a and I don't know our intentions in our work area, we're not supposed to be videotaped. You don't see that as being suspicious? There is, there is nothing preventing me from being here, number one. Number two, I'm engaging in a constitutionally protected activity. Such as? Filming. It's so, a constitutionally okay. protected activity. Okay, I am, not, I'm an independent... Nobody's told you not to film, I'm, I'm an independent journalist, uh -huh. and I'm gathering content for a story. Nobody's told you not to film, correct? I'm I don't not know saying that. Film me, but I'm trying to find out where you're here. You're being evasive, okay? I'm, I you're just told you that. I just okay? told you you're everything I need to tell you. I'm just trying so we can engage who we're talking to. We can keep ourselves safe, right? So I, mean, I can know who I'm talking I, to. I never, uh, you guys, you guys are the ones with the weapons, not me. You guys should feel What does weapons have to wait? Because you're saying you don't feel safe with a, with a guy with a camera. Come Why on, man. In the, in the middle of broad daylight. Nobody's okay, and what are you going to do with the video, right? Because now I, here, listen to me. So now I got a subject, videotaping comings and goings, videotaping entire layout of this parking lot. Yep. What am I supposed to say people are going to do with that? I don't know. You, you could get it from Google Maps if okay, you wanted to. Come care, on, man. I, I'm not worried about Google Maps. I'm worried about a subject here who is <laughs> yeah. just telling me his name. Yeah, I'm okay. a I'm a good citizen. That's what I am. I'm okay. a good citizen. Did anybody here. say you weren't? I'm not saying but listen. You're being evasive. All I told you what I'm here to do. How am I being eva okay, evasive? So would be, evasive would be evasive would be I'm not gonna okay, Well we'll listen, we'll evasive you. would evasive well, would be I'm not gonna answer your questions and then spin off and walk away from you because no, you have no authority listen, here. Nobody nobody nobody's trying to listen. Here's the bottom line. Maybe, I told you what maybe, I'm doing. Maybe you're, maybe, once again, I'm I'm just trying to explain to you. This area, you gotta you gotta understand where we're coming from, all right? There's cops that are getting ambushed and shot every single day. Okay? Just, it, okay. just, just, just like that. Just, just like there's like people that. being killed by cops every single day. Yes, Absolutely. it works both ways. Right? It does, uh -huh. 100%. Not disagreeing. And I understand man. that. But I'm just telling you right now, from our standpoint, 
you're asking why we're approaching you, asking you questions. No, 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 no. See, that's what that's what you're mistaken. Okay. I I fully expect. I fully. I fully. I fully expect you. I fully expect you to do your job and so, come so up listen, to me and ask questions. Here's that's what I, being, I expect. Being somebody that. who I am, okay. I'm, I work with uh, is a part of what my gig is. Is I make sure that I facilitate the bond between the community and policing. So how about this? Really? I can, I can offer you. I can offer you a little bit more help. But once again, we need to know who we're speaking with and what what type of credentials you have as far as what type of project you're working on. And stuff. I listen, I just man. Told you. If you have, it, it could be to the point you want to come on a ride along. We'll take you on a ride along, man. Yeah. It could be to that point. Is that, it's a, is that that's not but that's not what I want to do at this moment. But, but but if you're what? But I'm just saying, if you're walking around in an area that's for authorized personnel only mm -hmm. and you're not you're, you're not explaining but that's that's not true I, I read the sign what does the sign say Recite it says it word for word. authorized vehicles only authorized there is no i'm not in a vehicle i'm on what foot else does it say? authorized vehicles only that's okay, what so it says so, so okay. let me ask you this, this i'm not in a vehicle let me push a hypothetical right so so say so so you think at this point you can just walk in all around that station right you can walk in, go wherever you want. No. Well, well why? Hold on. Well, why? Because you have locks okay. on certain hold doors. Okay, hold on, but why? But is there any sign saying you can't? Well, if you Be lock the door. So, hold on, but there's an expectation, okay? That's what I'm getting. There's an expectation. You're telling me you can't freely walk through that building, right? Because it's a police station, right? No, because, because, because you set up you set hold up on, barriers. I'll let you finish. Go You've ahead. You've had your chance. I'll let you finish. Okay, because there's an expectation that that's not normal, right? You see anybody else just walking through here because it seems normal to walk through here? But what's normal to okay. you, it might not be normal to me. What's weird to you might be, you know, well, that's you know, it's, 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 this is, we have, man, this is, this is the United States of America. So, we we so can have disappearance so of opinion. Let me ask you this. So yeah. most journalists, right, they want to come and they want to do stories. They want to get information. Yeah. You know what they do? They call up and they make appointments. So that way, guess what you could do? You could walk around here and say, hey, officer. But why would I do that? Why would I do that when I can do it anyway? Why would I call if I could just do it anyway? We wouldn't be doing this, would we? I mean, you could do this all you'd like. I, am I am I detained? Uh, right now, yes. Until we figure out for sure what you're doing. So yes. you're telling me that I'm detained? Yes. Until I can figure out who you are. Interesting. Okay, this is an unlawful detainment. Just so you know. Okay. Okay. Let's play a little hypothetical game. Let's say this you in this position, and the cop just acknowledged that he has you unlawfully detained. What are you going to do next? A. Say you're invoking your Fifth Amendment right and remain silent. B, request the supervisor. C, ask the officer what crime have you committed. Or D, other. Take a second, pause the video, and write your answer in the comments. In my opinion, Long Island Audit handled this perfect, so let's see what he does. Okay. Until I can figure out what your true intentions are, you're telling me your journalist so you can you, no can, you, can you tell me what crime, can you articulate a crime that I've committed? I don't have to detain for a crime. You're, this is suspicious so, right now. So this is suspicious, suspicious activity. Is suspicious a misdemeanor or a felony? Not suspicious activity right now. I got to try to find is, out what you're doing. Is suspicious activity, sir, a misdemeanor or a felony? Well, it all depends on how you want to speak. It all depends on what you're doing, doesn't it's, it's, it? It's, it's neither. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. It's neither. I don't, I don't know It's why. neither. I'm here, I'm here conducting my own business. Now I'm not free to leave. I'm oh, being oh, detained oh. against my will unlawfully listen, listen, for no crime I've committed. Know. Until we can prove what you're I'd doing. like to speak to a supervisor, please. Absolutely. And since I'm being detained, and since I'm being since I'm being detained, since I'm being detained, I'm gonna. Absolutely. Well, just gonna, supervisor can talk to you. Yeah. I mean, it, it could have just been really easy, man. You could have just told us what you're you guys. Doing. You guys are going above and uh, above and beyond your authority. You have no authority to detain me. None. Dude, Zero. Listen, when I have a stranger we're, we're walk around where I work, that's not true. Hopefully, you'll learn something today. I don't know you. How's it doesn't matter if I'm a stranger or not. It doesn't matter. Now what does that matter? You you Nobody enforce does. you enforce the law. If I'm not you breaking any laws, man. you have no business there's, with me. There's people coming in and out of here. As far as cars coming in and out, you can get yourself hurt. All right, so you, you don't yeah, have Yeah, but I, I, I'm, I'm a grown man, and I know how to walk through a parking lot. Well, your shoes are untied. You're grown, but yeah. your shoes are untied. I don't they're, really, they're, that doesn't okay. really go hand in hand with okay. you. Okay. It doesn't. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Because I told you your shoes are untied. I'm you trying to explain it. And okay. You, and you just, you, you're so refusing to give us any information. I walked in. He's walking right, around. Hey, how are you, sir? And Sergeant. And going through. So I come over, try to talk to him, try to engage him. Can you take me off of this unlawful detainment, Sergeant, before... I'm I'm being unlawfully detained, so just, you're not being detained. Just yeah, no, he he no way, no. Man. This guy told me I was no, being no, detained. I, listen, I told him he's staying here, trying to figure out what he's doing. He just want to get his name. So you. I'm sure, as the he's sergeant would know, you no can't detain me a, for no uh, reason. A journalist. I am a journalist. Our work area. He's over by this is public. Vehicles. This is um, public. You know, things things have been you know, up and down. 
But, you know, since Juros doesn't want to provide any sort of credentials, doesn't want to I don't to have to, that's why. why I've been very, very decent with you guys, though. I, I, I said you haven't been disrespectful. We're yeah. just trying to figure out what you're doing. No, but, you, but, again, what, you're, but what you're doing right now, officer, is that you're, you're, you're violating my rights. I'm a free man, and you're telling me that not I'm detained. You're conducting suspicious behavior. That's not I a crime, sir. You, you have to learn the law. Sergeant, can you please, I want, I would appreciate it if you could, if you could please, you know, de-escalate this and, uh, my officers are doing the right thing. You're in our parking lot, taking photographs and everything. Not illegal, mm -hmm. okay? But certainly something for us to be concerned about, okay? Which is There's okay. There's a lot of attacks against police. There's a lot, sure, of, a lot yeah. of stuff going on. In the There's world a lot of today, stuff going right? on. If I'm, I'm not so everybody's you're part. you're here with your phone. This is, I mean, it's not fenced in or anything like exactly. that. Exactly. But not necessarily just open to the public. Okay. Well, unless it's, our, unless it's, unless it's restricted. Private, this is our private okay. lot. I'll leave finish. Right? There are signs mostly for vehicular traffic, mm -hmm. but it does say unauthorized people not, not, uh, allowed to come in. Vehicles, vehicles. vehicles. I, re I read I this said that. It's mostly for vehicles. Yeah. Okay. But again, this is why you were stopped. Yeah. Is because it's not necessarily illegal what you're doing, mm -hmm. but certainly a little suspicious as to why if someone just showed up at your house, granted that's private property, a little bit different. Yeah. But, or uh, say you're parked in, in Walmart, right? And someone, you come outside, someone's taking pictures of your car, looking inside of your car, yeah. checking things out. You'd be like, hey man, what, what are you doing? Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. So, and, and, like, and like I told your officers, I have no problem with them coming up and making contact with me, sure. voluntary contact. But when it comes to the point of a, um, an unlawful detainment, now you're now you're holding up my freedom of movement. Okay, well, we're 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 investigating what was going on, okay? Yeah, but in all, in all as a sergeant, you should know that you know your your officer here didn't know what reasonable articulable suspicion was. So you know he said he's never heard of it. You guys don't use that here. Is that true? No. What I said was I never heard the way you described it. First of all, reasonable first articulable said, suspicion. You said you didn't know what that was. No, no. As far as how we conduct business, we don't conduct business. Well, and I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you something. In order in in in, in in order to detain somebody, you, you need reasonable. Way. Articulable that's suspicion. That's, that's say, not. That's not speaking the way speak I that. do. Like you just said, everybody's different. Right? So how, when you like detain that. somebody, what's your what's your burden of proof? What do you have? What do, what do you do? Said, you just say you just go to random. Guys, hey, you just stop. go to random people and say you're detained. Enough. You don't need to sit here and argue. Okay, you guys are all set. All right, you guys can go. Take care, guys. Stay safe out there. Sorry, listen. I'm just all I'm doing. I'm not. I have no ill intent. You're not being violent. You're not being. You're not even being argumentative. You're not. You're not. You're free. You're recording me. That's fine. You're also being recorded. I'm I sure know. you already know that. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, law enforcement officers have been known to ask people to stop taking photographs of public places. Those who fail to comply have sometimes been harassed, detained, and arrested. Other people have ended up in the FBI database. The right of citizens to record police is critical. It creates an independent record of what took place in a particular incident. One is free from bias, lies, and false memory. It is no accident that some of the most high-profile cases of police misconduct have involved the citizen shot video so just stay courageous and keep those cameras rolling that's gonna do it for this video much love to these awesome creators again make sure you use the links in the description below to show them some love and check out their most recent content also make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the next video if you made it this far thank you so much you're the real ct3 fam and until next time peace